are his asking is it true that Allah he created himself uh, from the sweat of a horse we have a Muslim caller let us see Salam alaikum uh, do you hear me yes okay hold on let me be sure that all right how are you mr. truth uh, I'm good how are you Wa alaikum as -salam. I'm fine did you hear me saying that uh, Allah he is created yes. from the sweat of a horse yes I want a reference for that if you don't mind brother okay uh, but you heard that before or never no never oh, okay. I would be amazed I'm amazed right now I'm shocked I don't think there's anything. Well, here we go. Let that. me. Here we go. I just open it. This is Lisa, uh, Lisa Do you see my screen? Um, in second, brother. Yes. Okay, Lisa Mizan. You speak Arabic, right? Uh, no. No. So how we can? Okay, hold on. Let us. Uh, let me then. I try. I'm, to... a, I'm not an Arab, man. Huh? I'm Muslim. I I'm know you are a Muslim, a but you are not an Arab, right? You are saying not an Arab. Okay, no, hold I'm on. Not a rabbit. Okay. Okay, you know what? I will show it to you in Arabic first, and then I'm going to click the translation of Google. And but you know, Google is not really a very yes. much good, you know. Read with me. In Allah Lama Arada and Yahluk and Afsahu, Khalak al Khail, Fajaraha Hatta Arikat, Thum Khalak and Afsahu mean the Arikal Arak. Translation. I will click. Yes. English translation. All right. Right. It says, uh, he said here, he kept it as talk that God did not want to create himself. He created horses. So he made them sweat and then he created himself from their sweat not their race this is a, a stupid translation of Google do you see it mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let me see and, and for sure by the way the Muslim they will say we we'll reject this hadith we don't accept this hadith brother <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm not like that I'm not like that I'm not like that don't worry. <laughs> no 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 I'm, t I'm telling you I mean even how the idea come to their head you see there is no smoke without fire is that correct Yes. So why a scholar he will come to us such a statement that Allah he made the horses run this is what it says in Arabic Allah he made the horses run and when he made them run he made them run for a purpose to sweat and when they sweat yes. he created himself from the sweat of the horses what it's it's really a yeah this is what it says this is what it says it actually it. Uh, it, well this is what it says I mean this is the this is not uh, and by the way uh, they might say to you they might say to you that this is Shia statement though this is not even Shia this is Sunni because al Hanbali is the one who came with this you know let me see if I can find you uh, other other uh, reference Hanbali oh I never heard of that guy Okay. This sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, let us see. I'm trying just to find you like an official, not just a website. Yes. Uh, Okay, this is Al Al Mosua Al Muyasara Fitarajimi emitted Tafsir while Ikra when Nahua Lura Al Mosua Al Muyasara, like a uh, like a uh, I don't know what translate for you, like you know, if you have like a, a dictionary, but it's like a huge one, you know, this is what Mosua is. Uh, uh, in in all the uh, the official writing of the scholars and the aim, the imams, and here it says. Yeah. In the book of al sifat it says he have a hadith mm. it says in allah lama arada an yakhluq nafsahu khalaq al khayl fa ajraha hatta ariqat thumma khalaq nafsahu min dhalik al araq when allah he wanted to create himself 
he created the horses and then he made it run فأجراها. حتى عرقت, until it sweat sweat really heavy and then yes. he created himself from the sweat of that horses yes huh? but um so the, yeah the, but it's it's an obvious that uh, most muslims may if not all uh, will reject this hadith because uh, it doesn't go hand in hand with the but quran no actually it does go it goes hand by hand with the quran why it doesn't go by let me okay you see where in the quran it says that allah he did not create it himself nowhere he begets not and nor is he begotten hmm. well, hold on the hadith we showed you just a while ago i don't know for how long you were watching and we said that allah i apologize I he come it's all right no problem my friend i welcome you you are a very polite man and you are welcome always to call me uh the hadith this is sahir bukhari Yes. Sahir Bukhari is not a joke, correct? This is the most accurate reference. So yeah. let us say this hadith there is rejected. Okay, no problem. What about here? Allah, he have a shape and Allah, he changed his shape. So the second you say he have a shape and then he have other shape, that's mean somebody created that shape. Mm. Correct? Correct. Let us say, okay, Allah have a shape already now. But now you are saying to me that Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and he will say so this is totally different shape okay who is the one who created this shape mm. what do you think allah okay so allah created allah if you uh, of course not Oh, but but this is what it says. You are the one I ask you, <laughs> my friend. I asked you, who is the one who created that shape? But that shape is Allah. But what if what if that shape was there all along? <clears throat> if it... no no no, what, that's mean there's two Allah. If that shape is Allah and the other shape is Allah, that means there's many Allah. Hmm. Yeah, this really. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing. But always there is first time with the Christian brother. Prince. <laughs> no, I. You know the reason is, and I hope you are listening carefully. The reason you, as a Muslim, <clears throat> you always says I never. Uh, this is the first time I hear this, because when you read, mm. you don't think deeply. You just read. And by the way, not only Muslims do that; even Christians. Most of people, mm. they don't really think deeply. Like, if I give you this hadith by itself, I'm sure you heard me saying that this hadith before, don't, didn't you? Um, no? You saying this hadith? Before? You never heard me speaking about this hadith here? Uh, not, not the horse, this one, the shape of Allah. Maybe I missed it. Huh? Probably, I missed, maybe I missed it. Okay, so if Allah, he is coming to you with a shape, and now shape. he is going to change his shape, who is the one who will mm. give him the second shape? Either we say he borrow it <laughs> or he buy it, bought it from somewhere from Amazon.com, or he made it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where he get it from? So the only solution, the best solution will be Allah, He created the, the, the shape, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. All right. That's me. Allah created himself because now he is in he is in that he is that shape. He is that shape. Allah, he don't have a spirit. Allah is not a spirit. So that shape is Allah. Allah created the new shape. Allah created the new Allah. Mm. So what we would do now? So we rejected the hadith about the horse. Correct? Yeah. Because Allah created himself from the sweat of the horses, which I find that me myself is very weird. I mean, what and why horses? What about donkeys? <laughs> <I mean. laughs> camels, camels. Yeah, yeah, you Muslims are funny sometimes. But look at this. Here, this is this they cannot deny this hadith. This is Sahir Bukhari to show the reference. And nobody can deny in a, even for a second that this is a very accurate hadith. What they will say, I'm lying. No, and this is appearing in many places, not only in this hadith, tons. So this is a very accurate hadith, confirming that Allah 
have shape number one and he has shape number two and when I ask you okay when Allah come with different shape who is the one who created the other shape you said Allah correct yeah so Allah created himself so Allah created this shape and then he turned into the shape that makes him uh, creating himself because you see was... if Allah created a shape and he will come to you in that shape if that shape is not Allah now we have a problem because how he is that shape you see it says there read carefully with me Allah will come to them in a shape they know and will say so he is in a shape yes okay so now he have a shape already and now he will come to them in a shape they know and he will say so there is two shapes shape they don't know shape they know and which way is very weird I mean what is the shape Muslims they know this is very silly mm. uh, as I know there is no Muslim Maybe so in, Allah. The power, in the power like thing no 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 it's a it's a shape my friend even the Quran says he was so he, he, they will recognize him from his shin you see there's a hadith that says and even the Quran says shin so here Allah is coming in a new shape other than the one which they know that is a new creation of a new shape Allah will use who is the one who created yes. that shape must be Allah Allah created Allah okay what happened now to the first shape uh, Muslim you see Allah he okay. come to them in other shape correct this is what he's saying yes. okay what happened to the shape before it uh, of course he changed shape. it's not I don't think it's like a physical thing. No, Allah is a physical. physical. No, 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 my friend. Allah is so a physical. No, Allah is a like, physical. Yeah, but brother, just like energy changes form, it doesn't have to be someone going inside something. Okay, it's first of like all, let us change. First form. of all, let us come to an agreement. Are you saying Allah is not a physical being? Um, something we can compare, of course not. No, no, Allah is a physical being. You can go and watch my debate with many scholars. All of them they agree that Allah is a physical being. All the Muslims agree. Allah is a physical being and he have no spirit mm. Allah has no spirit actually I just opened the the, the fatwa <coughs> here yes. you see there's a guy he's debating yes. with with the uh, with the Christians like me and he's asking if Allah has a spirit he is debating mm. with the Christians and is asking does Allah has a spirit have a spirit the answer no the answer Allah the spirit or soul is not one of the attributes of Allah rather it is one of the things have been created by Allah so Allah has no mm -hmm. spirit okay so if Allah is not spirit he's not a physical being so what he is <laughs> that that means not exist because nothing left you have no other <laughs> options you know, you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah I, I get you. okay yeah, I get you. so he is not a spirit and now what is left he's a physical being okay so now he's a physical being and now Allah creating a new shape of that physical being who is the one who created the physical being Allah Allah mm. okay what Allah he did to the first physical being he killed him he burned him or now we have to Allah he made it disappear just go so Allah he made like Allah this. Allah he made Allah disappear no, not like that. Not like no, no, that. no. It have to be like that because let, let me let me try to explain it to you. Uh, <clears throat> let us do this. Look with me in the screen. I'm going to draw so, draw something, and forgive me, my 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 drawing is not uh, you know I'm not I'm not I'm not an artist. Same, 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 okay. Same. So let us say I'm not going to make any shape uh, to make fun of your God. Uh, let us say no, no, I don't. Uh, okay, here we go. I, I will make this is this is true. Allah. I love Three, the, three angle okay this is Allah and now we have shape here shape a and shape B all right all right yes so this is shape number a and this is yes. shape number B wonderful yes okay when Allah he was shape number a shape a is Allah he is Allah mm. is not inside the shape because to say he was inside the shape that's mean he is a spirit maybe 
mm. but we discover he is not a spirit so he is the shape he is a physical being so this physical being here that shape is Allah which is without mm. spirit you know there's no spirit inside this shape okay now Allah mm. he transformed himself or he come in a new shape uh, yes uh, bro can I ask you something real quick in uh, between okay so uh, uh, w when you were uh, debating the scholars and stuff did they actually agree that Allah was a spirit absolutely you can search for my debate with Dr. Dr. Nabil Baikli as an example Dr. Nabil Baikli the head of mm -hmm. the Islamic Center of Tennessee is a Sunni uh -oh. is a Sunni and Imam of the mosque of Tennessee his name is Imam Malik Saar both of them they were debating me and they said clearly mm -hmm. with the clear words I can we can find the video they said Allah is a physical being but how Allah look like we don't know Dr. Rohi have a BD that, that's, from, that's from crazy. Al Azhar. Huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, this is what like, it is. This is what it is, my friend. It's not up to you, up to me. It's, this, is, this is what it is. This is what it is. So Allah, the physical being now. Okay. So Allah, he come to you in a new physical being. So what happened to the old physical being? If we say that the old physical being, as you said, making disappear, that's mean Allah, he made Allah disappear. Mm. So what happened? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. That's, nothing makes sense in Islam. You see, the Muslim they say how 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 God can be a man, right? Mm. Okay. And how Allah can have shape? Why he have a shape anyway? As long as you are questioning, uh, as long as you are questioning the nature of God. Allah has a shape. Right? Hmm? Yes. Oh yeah, go ahead, but I, I was just saying I don't agree. Uh, from my uh, point of view that Allah is actually a physical thing or it's not maybe even uh, my, my friend it's not up to you it's not up to me you see I'm sharing with you what Islam is not my wishes or your wishes yes. this is this is Islam either you take it or you leave it the same as you say Jesus is God he's a man and God at the same time it's not up to you to say he was not a man it's not up to me to say he was a, he's a man and God in the same time this is what we leave this is Christianity either we take it or we leave it so yes. uh, uh, this is what Islam teaching the Muslims here, even in the hadith, which make it more more dangerous, the statement of Muhammad here, he made it clear that because Allah, he changed his shape, you rejected him. Mm. You see? Then Allah will come to them in the shape they know, and they will say, he will say, I am your Lord. Then, then they will say, you are our Lord. But before, when he come to them in a shape which they do not know, other than the one they know, he will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means not only they reject him, they believe he is the devil. Huh? Yeah, because when you, when you say, you as a Muslim, when you say, I seek refuge by, by Allah from you, that's mean shaitan in you talking to me. Correct? We seek mm. refuge by Allah from who? From Satan, not from a human. Yes. And the Quran confirmed that. So, Allah coming to them and they say to him you are shaitan we seek refuge by Allah from you all what happened is just he changed his shape mm. so the Muslims cannot recognize Allah for being Allah the Muslims they can recognize Allah for being in a shape which they like mm. and what kind of God this God is Customer service, you know, this is at and What kind of shape you like us to send you at the modem? We have a triangle modem. We have a square modem. <laughs> we have, what do you want, brother? You know, and say, I don't accept, I don't believe that internet can come from a circle modem. I want a triangle modem. <laughs> so now they will send you a modem in the way you like. This is Allah. How this is, can be true. Do you, you know somebody actually somebody he just gave me an idea do you think Allah he was like he printed himself in a 3d printer mm. no so where the shape is coming from and well, what, if and I got what, a question do you also material? accept that uh, let's say when a God was talking to Moses and the uh, and the Israelites mm. uh, did he also came in a shape of form 
when the, he was the uh, talking to them, yes, the Quran actually the comes, Israelites yeah. were afraid that, okay. that uh, you just remind um, me actually to talk about that. Come, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, if we go in the Quran, we remember that uh, uh, Musa says he come, he saw a fire from far away. Correct. Yes. Okay. What the Quran says? The Quran says, "Buraka man fi nar, wa man hawlaha." I don't know if you understand what I just said. Of course not. Okay. Let us show you the translation then. In chapter 27, verse number 8, it says, talking about Moses, okay? Moses, he was away. You, you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Um, when Moses okay. said to his household, his family, verily I have seen a fire. So he was in the dark at night. He saw a fire. I will bring you from there some information, which means I will bring you a fire. Or I will bring you a burning brand, okay, to warm yourself. Uh, then, but when he come to it, to it what? The fire, right? Mm. Okay. He was cold. Blessed is, is, who is ever is in the fire. But uh, when he was blessed, it was his Who is it in the fire? I will bring you from. Is that the burning? Oh, will... Is that the burning Allah? No, but it doesn't say Allah was in the fire. Okay, who is the one in the fire? <laughs> I have seen a fire. I will bring you from there some information, or I will bring you a burning brand that you may warm yourselves. Mm. So. Who is the one blessed? The blessed one in the fire. God is blessed. Okay. So now, who is the one in the fire? Then he is a blessed. The one is around the fire is Musa. The one is in mm -hmm. the fire is who? The sound says to you, who is he? He said, Oh Musa's verily, it is Allah. Almost really, it is all I, Allah, mm. the Almighty, who are always. So, who is the one in the fire? <laughs> Allah. Okay, is the fire is a physical being in this case? Fire. What right? if Allah was third person in here? Huh? And he just showed him. The, what if Allah was the third person in here and he showed uh, he. Showed Moses the bush fire, and then he was just talking to Moses. But that doesn't mean but, he no, had to be okay, in the fire okay, okay. to talk to Moses. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, no problem. I will go with you. I will go with you. When Allah He spoke, He spoke from where? Um, from He Allah is everywhere. No, and nowhere. If from no, whatever. No, no, no. Islam does not believe Allah is everywhere. That's not true. Allah spoke from the tree. Is that correct? Mm, from the tree? From the tree. Read carefully with me. Where it says, does it say? Yes. Does it say he it's he spoke from the tree? Let me highlight so for you. Uh, it the fire. He was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed place from the tree. O Musa, Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord okay. of the Alameen, mankind jinns and all existence. All right. He spoke from where? From the tree. And what is burning? The tree. Mm. Right? So Allah in this moment, He is a tree. He is a burning tree. From the tree of Musa. So He was here in the form, uh, you're saying, right? It says there He is the tree. Because why uh, do you believe in the tree speaking? No. No. Okay. So there is a fire 
and you see the Quran when the Quran says blessed is the one in the fire right mm. I, I may brother brother Christian priest I may uh, come arrogant yeah with asking these questions but no, I no, just no, want to no, know no, I, I'm, I'm here to I'm, I'm here to help you my friend so it's fine. okay no yes let us go to the other chapter chapter 27 verse number eight actually it says when he come to it he was called blessed is whoever is in the fire right yes okay now in, in in the same time in chapter number 28 it says in verse number 30 he Allah he spoke from the tree saying oh Moses verily I am Allah there's no question that this is Allah correct mm. you didn't say I am Jibreel or no so he is speaking from the tree and what is burning the tree so the burning tree and obviously Muhammad he is trying to copy from the Old Testament when God he spoke to Moses from the burning bushes so when he reached the fire he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed place it's even the place is blessed why why it's blessed you see because Allah if, if Allah is exists yeah. everywhere that means everywhere is a, is a blessed mm. it's not like he is literally everywhere but he sees he can interact everywhere no Allah mm. cannot interact you see first of all Allah doesn't exist Allah is a, is a Allah is a joke uh, uh, Allah is not even the, the word Allah is not even exist the true name of the God of Islam is lah al yeah. is an old yeah al is an old ancient Aramaic and ancient Hebrew mm. al is a word mean God let us type it al. al yes al is a word mean God Yiddish or real Hebrew huh Yiddish or real Hebrew a Hebrew and Aramaic the ancient Aramaic and the ancient Hebrew and uh, mm. la is the true name of the God of Islam so al la al God la God la you see today in the new Hebrew what they say they say Ezra yield right yes heal is a word mean God in the old Hebrew it was Ezra Yal Israel Israel yeah Ishmael was Ishmael Mikael it was Mikael Gabriel was Gabriel so the the language it changed by time and Al became ill so Al is the ancient one ill is the new one like we Christian we say that Jesus is Emmanuel ill but in the ancient Hebrew it should be Emmanuel so Al has, has, Al is a word in the Aramaic or the, the Hebrew it's not necessarily about the true God it, it's any it's a word mean God you, you understand mm -hmm. now if you believe in that God that make it make him your God so Allah is Allah this is why if you go in the Quran you will find in chapter 2 chapter 1 verse number 2 it says Alhamdulillah Alhamdu let us go to the Quran verse number 1 and 2 look with me in the screen yes I'm looking all right it says here let me zoom more so we can make it even bigger all right if you look here you will see the following do you notice that Allah here is different here there's an Aleph here there's no Aleph this appear which one was Aleph the Al first Lami. one verse number oh, yeah, one yeah. verse number one there's Aleph you see the Aleph yes yes okay let me make an arrow in it uh, so you can see it yeah all right here we have Aleph here the Aleph is gone why here it says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim here it says <coughs> Alhamdulillah li lah okay let's type the first one we will type the first one and the second one al hamdu the first one bismillah al la this is the first one a and l appear in the beginning of the word 
the second one it doesn't say Allah it says Alhamdu li lah in Arabic li mean to lah Alhamdu li lah there's only letter L before the lah mm. what what is the name of God lah li mean to all right mm. so Hamid you know what Hamid mean right Hamid to who Hamid. to lah that is the true name of the God of Islam it is La, and you can search in Google. La is the moon god. The moon god, yeah. You don't know, moon god, huh? Yeah, uh, you worship the moon Le. god, my friend. Let me let me search for you in Google. Hold on, La is the ancient name of the moon god. This is have nothing to do uh, with the Christians the or in, or, in, in, or was it a literal name? Huh? Was La a title given to the moon god in the past? No, no, this is his name. This is, no, this, is, this, is, this is his name. La is the moon god. La is a very well known name for the moon god. All right. Uh, here you will see all of those. Let me let me show you. No, but the reason why the Muslims they use these moon symbols and mosque and stuff, yeah, it's not something that dates back to the Prophet Muhammad. It's something that actually is just recent uh, because uh, because of the Seljuk Turks. No, not true, not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, you see, here, like this is a website. I'm not going to read the whole article. You can search yourself. Yeah, la yeah is another another word for God. The Christian they say yeah way. Yeah, we okay. Yeah, la. Do you see the screen? Yeah, la. The other yeah, la. God. Yeah is a word meaning God. La is the name. Yeah, la. What is the name? La. The name of what? Of the moon God. So, how do you say God in general in Arabic? There is Just many words, like there's many words. There's rub, and those are not Arabic words, by the way. Arabic, there's nothing that's called Arabic, really. All of this is coming from other languages. Most of it is coming from the Aramaic. Like this is why you say in, in Hebrew, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi, you know, Rab. Rab in Arabic means God. It can be even my Lord, like Master. So many, there is many words. Uh, but when you say La, it is a name. That's why the Muslims agree. That it is a name of, of, of their God, it's not a word meaning God, correct? Mm. It is a name, not a word meaning God, but well, it's still it not, depends. not all Muslims take that. It's, it's a bit uh, all over the place. Some guys say God, Allah doesn't have names, He only no, has no, 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 uh, 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 Muhammad he made it clear that the best names of Allah is. Uh, uh, is uh, is uh, this is his name actually even the Quran if we go in the Quran you see this is the problem Muslims do not know anything about their uh, cult when Muhammad first time he started using the word Ar Rahman the people around him they said to him who is Ar Rahman this is new no, they were saying who was Ar Rahman who you're referring to. Yeah. They had no, 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 they said no, 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 no. They said they said uh, Muhammad used to worship one God, his name is Allah, and now he is worshiping Ar Rahman. All right, and this is why Muhammad he answered them saying in chapter 17, verse number 10, saying, Read with me carefully, say, O Muhammad, invoke Allah or invoke the Rahman you see here they translated but it's false or invoke a Rahman by whatever name you invoke him for it belong all the the best name belong to Allah so it's a name so Muhammad now he add a new name to Allah which is a Rahman a guy who is a false prophet his name is Rahman al Yamama he sent him a message he wrote there uh, in the name of Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Muhammad, he like it. He wrote a letter back. He says, "In the name of the Prophet of Islam, etc. In the name of Allah Ar Rahman." The Arab, the Muslims around him, they said, "Who is?" And the, even the even the pagan, they says, "Muhammad, he used to worship one God. His name is Allah, and now he is calling two. 
Ar Rahman. The only Rahman we know is Rahman al Yamama. And let me show you the reference so you don't say I'm oh, making things up. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is the chapter 17, verse number 110. Okay, we go there. We are lucky now. The website stop kind of stop working. Mm. I'm clicking at display. Let us try Asbab and Nuzul. Anyway, you can open it anytime. This is the website at Tafsir. You know at Tafsir.com? Yes. I can give you a, I will post the link in uh or you can send to uh, I, will, I will post the link in the chat and you guys when it, when it's open let me know so we can open it because this website sometimes you know what don't click at the link for now because i think if we uh, we have many clicks this website i think they are uh, the king of jordan he is using the internet of the neighbors <laughs> yeah he's cheap you know he's a, he's, a, he's poor he have he's bankrupt uh yeah it's not open his website sometimes works sometimes doesn't work yeah it's open for you okay let me try to open with different uh browser i don't know why it's not opening for me <laughs> oh you see but it's not changing it's it's uh, it's opening for me the old uh, chapter it's opened chapter 21 verse number 17 which means the link did not change yet here we go here we go finally thank god uh, i think uh, i think his wife five the king is switched to the guy in the second floor all right, uh, can you read the screen with me? Yes, uh, okay. to this, is, right? this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. This is Sunni book, that's not Shia. Asbab and Nuzul means the reason for the verses to come down. All right, mm. uh, here it says, He keeps saying in his prostration, Oh, the beneficent, oh, oh, Rahman, oh, Ar Rahim. And so the adulterer said, Oh, Muhammad used to call into one Allah. Now he is calling into two, <laughs> Allah and the Rahman. Do you see it? And they said, we do not know anyone by the name of Ar Rahman except the Rahman of Al Yamama. <laughs> do you see it? Mm. Okay. Open. Uh... And look what happened. You see, everything I say, we don't lie. Everything we say is the truth. They never heard him say yeah. Rahman. But, but Muhammad, you, you, the Muslim, they have the word Rahman from the beginning of the Quran. So now, just now, after receiving more than the half of the Quran, now Muhammad he heard that Allah, his name is a Rahman too. What happened suddenly? But look what happened. The guy who his name is Musaylama, they, the Muslim, they call him the liar to insult him. Very insulting cult. And he, so Allah, the exalted, uh, he revealed in this verse, said, etc., uh, etc., et at the beginning of the revelation, Allah, messenger, bless him and give him peace, used to write, in the name of Allah, do you see it? In the beginning of the revelation, never use the word Rahman, in the name of Allah only. Until this verse was revealed. All right? So before that, he never, but look what happened. Mm. Hmm? After which he wrote, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the, mer the merciful, the Arab, the idolater, command, uh, 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 commented that we know that the merciful, uh, we, we do not know anyone, his name is Ar-Rahman. We, we know who is the merciful because this is used in Aramaic too. But who is Ar-Rahman? As a response, Allah, he gave him that. All right? Mm. Uh, and why he why he used that he received a letter from Musaylama and Muhammad he responded to Musaylama from the same words he wrote Rahman al Yamama which is Musaylama as even the Muslims agree here he is the only one who used the word Rahman you see they say the only one we know his name is Rahman and his God his name is Rahman is Rahman al Yamama do you see it Imama is an area, so he is Rahman, the mm. guy of Imama. His name, that guy is Rahman. 
and this is the guy who has God is Rahman. So what happened to Muhammad now? Muhammad he heard the name, he liked the name, he added in his Quran. And the Quran confirmed that Allah is a name. For he said, in the name of Allah, correct? Mm. Is it the Quran says in verse number one? In the name, in the name of Allah. So he's not saying in the name of God. When you say when you say Shahada, what do you say? Do you say there's no Allah but Allah, or you say there's no God but Allah? If the word Allah is a word meaning God, no, then you can, you, that, that means you can say there's no Allah but Allah, correct? If the word Allah is just a word meaning yes. God, okay. So you don't say and, and there's no God but uh, but uh, but God. Uh, you don't say there's no Allah but Allah. You say there's no God but Allah because Allah is the name. And here Muhammad, he as La ilaha illallah, right? Yeah, but but Muhammad here, ilah is a word meaning God. Ilah, il, il, ilah. Okay, but this is not where the word uh, Allah is coming from. Allah, as I showed you, a l and la la is the other name of the God of the fertility. You see, Muhammad, you know what the black stone, right? What the black stone? The one what was Abraham. What was the black stone? No, the black stone have nothing to do with Abraham. What Abraham? Abraham, he never been there. <laughs> the black stone is a vagina where the Arab who <laughs> worshipped the god of fertility. I'm not making fun. I'm just saying the truth, my friend. Uh, actually, it is in the shape of a vagina. Let me show you the black stone. Hold on. Stuff. And wow, even, the the tafsir, even the seer, even the seer, it says. That the black stone became a stone black black because of the women touching their vagina with their blood in their hand and they touch the the black stone and that would make it uh, black all right now tell me what is this I want to see this uh, no, no, no. do you have do you have uh, do you have any explanation for why the shape of this black stone like this uh, a square it's, this is not square. This is square for you. Oh, I, I oh no, yeah, and now I see it. Oh, you mean that uh, stone? Yeah, the black stone. Yeah. What is well, the, what is the shape? What is this? It, it's a circle. It's not circular. Circle. It's not circle. Do you see the frame around it? Why it's why it's oh, yeah, yeah. this is the frame. It just to resemble how it used to be always. It's a vagina. Wait, but, but that thing is is put there. Like it doesn't people, matter because so, uh, now because there's nothing left of the black stone. You see, the black stone is gone. The black stone, Al Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba. He took it, he used it as a bathroom stone for more than 21 years. And then when he sent them back the stone, he sent them th uh, eight little tiny stones. All what you see here is waxing. There's no stones left. But they are trying to keep it in the old shape, the, the, the way it used to be. You know, like if you look at this picture here. Do you see the stones you are kissing in the car? But there's no stones. There's nothing left. This is wax. So this is what is left. Eight little tiny stones. Do you see it? Oh, like this. Yeah. Mm. You don't have a stone. The stone is gone. <laughs> but uh, what I'm talking about, what is the origin of this? Arab before Islam, they used to go uh, walk naked around the Kaaba. Do you know that or no? Uh, no, not naked or something. I just knew that they had uh, so many idols around the no, Kaaba. They used to go naked because this is a naked religion. This is a sexual religion. And Islam is nothing but a continue of this sexual religion. If we go in the Hadith, let us, let us look in the Hadith. The Hadith says, confirm, that even after Muhammad took over Mecca, still the people used to go around the Kaaba naked. Oh, man. But, but it's just it's just the building was there, and then the people use it in all the way. That was not supposed to be like. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. You see, this is everything have an origin. But did you ask yourself what is the religion there? I mean, okay, forget about the idols, the black stone which you kiss and Muslim Muhammad kiss. Why for them? Why they are practicing this? What is the religion there? Look, Hisham narrated in the authority of his father, blah, 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 blah. It's okay. Uh, he says in the uh, uh, the Arab, in the exception of the Homs, who were in uh, uh, Quraysh and their descendant, they go around the Kaaba 
naked. Do you see it? Mm. So you go around the Kaaba today and you still naked, nothing changed. Muhammad, all what he did, he made you wear a sheet. Mm. And why Muhammad he made them wear a sheet? If you go and get my book, Six and Allah, you will see that he liked a woman and he was jealous that everybody looking at her bum and her vagina and her breast. He wanted to marry her or to have her to be his uh, uh, girlfriend. So because of that woman, after that, after the woman, she 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 go around the Kaaba and she was singing the same song which the no, Arab no. used to sing for four centuries. No. Hmm? no, 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 that's not true, man. That's not true. <laughs> get my book. Do you have my books? Oh, uh, get, no, man. Okay, get my book, Sex and Allah, and you will see all the reference you want. <laughs> that's the for Allah. What is the no. for Allah? Okay, uh, listen, listen. After all, I showed you. I mean, am I lying to you? Have you ever seen what, me lying to what, you about anything I say? Uh, Have you ever heard me saying something and I did lie? Be honest. I don't know. I'm not too. What do you mean? You don't know? To, uh, didn't everything I say I show? Hmm. And I'm showing it to you in the screen. Yes. Okay. So what do you mean you say to me you don't know? So I'm talking to you now for the last hour, and I think you called me before, right? Is that the first time you call me, or you call me before? Oh, sorry, brother. Uh, this is the first time I call you, man. Oh, okay. First time. So, so you know, we're online. I'm not lying. Yeah, I got, from what I've seen, uh, you haven't. And this is brother. So, are you going to stay Muslim after what I showed you? After all of this garbage? Uh, so I got uh, I gotta look, look into this, but I can't just. What do you mean? You, uh, I'm, I'm showing you. We are looking right now. We are looking. Why Muhammad is a black? I gotta see what the scholars say. What the arguments against? What scholars? Your scholars cannot then, answer anything, my friend. What scholars? Okay, let us have a deal, me and you. What about you challenge your scholar and tell him if you don't call this guy, I'm going to leave Islam, just to force him to call me. I will. They will never I'll... dare to call me. You want to bet? I can bet. Okay, well, I, I will bet. If you win, Allah will double your versions in the heaven. <laughs> if I lose, stop I will give you my Allah. 70 versions Which version? to you. There are no versions in heaven. There... What no, do you mean there's no versions? No, your prophet, he said, you will have versions, and they are very sexy, and you know it. <laughs> what? Are you, are you making fun of your prophet now? No, stop. Okay, uh -huh. well, your prophet he says that. So what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? You do like what is what versions? You do not know that your prophet he promised you, uh, you know, a lot of women who they are coming in the heaven, just for sex entertainment. Let me show you the hadith before I let you go. Not the, only the, that. Is, is that in the Quran? In the Quran and the hadith, I will show you both. Hold on. No. Maybe in Hadith, but no, 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 no. In the Quran and the Hadith, I will show you. You will just hold, hold your horses. Do you see what your Prophet said? This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari. Sahir. The, the Muhammadan cannot say this is a lie. Sahih Bukhari, three, two, four, five, uh, four, five, four. It says that Allah will give you the versions, the whore, uh, who they are so beautiful. To the point, they are transparent. They are so white. And to the point you can see the marrow of their bones in their legs and you will see uh, uh, you will be able to be seen through the bones and the flesh do you see it you uh, brother what wait you, what does horse mean horse is, is the whore whore the word whore the version oh so brother in the heaven of Allah Allah will give you very beautiful women like this look at this Look how beautiful. And look at I don't, I don't want to look, man. No, look, look, man. Look, look, it's very tempting. It's actually, <laughs> I was thinking to convert to Islam. Hey, come on, this is what your prophet said. But well, don't laugh, man. People will be you a funny guy, brother. Man. I gotta give you that. Man. You're this, funny is, guy. this is this is what your prophet said. Why you are laughing? I mean, show respect, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is guys, is it this is what his prophet said? What's the problem? <laughs> What, what is the problem? <laughs> What's that? This is what your prophet he promised you. I showed you the hadith. 
you know? <laughs> My friend, this is your prophet. He promised you. Why you are laughing? I mean, uh, we have to be, we have to be honest. <laughs> this is what your prophet he promised you. But I mean, look at this. I mean, this is so hot, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm actually I wasn't going to show this because each time I show it a lot of people convert to us now <laughs> What Look at this position look at this one. I mean you will I think you will like this one more and that will make you stay as a Muslim more now No, man, no, what no, to, this, what, no, 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 you're a prophet. This is Sahir Bukhari. He said you will see guys Did we just show a second ago the hadith saying you will see the marrow of their bones. We just showed you. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Does it say that? This is Sahir Bukhari. Am I lying? You will see the marrow of their was bones. It huh? What was it Sahih Bukhari? Yes, Sahir Bukhari. Uh, I'm showing it in the screen, my friend, with the with the numbers. Hadith number three, two, five, four. All right. We are showing it in the screen. Let me write this. Okay. So this is Sahih Bukhari saying you will see you will see through they are see through they are so wide to the point you can see even the marrow of their bones. So I'm showing you pictures which is very realistic. We have to show respect to the Prophet teaching. Look, she will do this to you. Do you see the high heels? I mean, this is very sexy. I don't know. You know, last you know. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with this, man? Each each time, each time I I I, I see this, I, I think about getting married. I cannot resist this temptation. <laughs> Look at this here. And even this one is me. I, I think this uh, this whore here, I think she have I see something there. I think she have hamburger here. Is that hamburger or what? I'm not sure. It might this, be this I don't know, it may be falafel, I'm not sure. There's something she ate something before she do that, you know. I see some shit here. <laughs> what? I this don't is, know, man. I don't this know. is reality check, my friend. And you will be doing this in the heaven of Allah. Alhamdulillah. No, no. What? It's not a libel, man. It's not a libel. What do you mean? But this is Al Bukhari. Yeah. This is Al Bukhari. What's wrong, man? This is Al Bukhari. And I showed you the reference. Don't tell me this is not reliable. <laughs> <laughs> so did you <laughs> did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Otherwise you would get this. No, la, la. What la, la? No, no, no. What no no? You are going. I will, I will look into this, brother. I will look into this. Thank you. you. See, I don't know what's your name, and you keep saying to me, "I will look at this." I just showed to you in the screen why we cannot be brave and be honest with ourselves. You don't want to be honest with me. It's up to you. Can't you be honest with yourself? Did I show it to you in the screen? Is that Sahir Bukhari? Is that Sunnah.com? So what do you mean that we need to look at it? I, I gotta look into the uh, of course the arguments against it and stuff. Yeah. What what's called say about so this? Aren't you going to make a decision? What what does that mean? I mean, I showed you the proof and the reference. I'm not making things up. I never said something to you since you called me without showing you what I'm saying. Never. Mm. So what you would do? You will stay following such a garbage. I'm not being uh, I'm not being rude to you, but this is garbage. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, it, it doesn't trigger me or anything. But okay, so why? It doesn't trigger. You can curse everything. It doesn't trigger. No, no, I'm not cursing. I'm just saying. I'm saying what I believe. This is garbage. This is garbage. I mean, uh, what what kind of God when I do this? What is this? And, and what kind of a beauty this beauty is? This is disgusting. Supposedly, but I will tell you why. Muhammad, he is an Arab, and he is speaking to the Arab, and the Arab they like white women. So he always exaggerate in his lies. So he exaggerate that they are so white to the point you can see they are racist. The Arab are racist. They don't like black people. They are racist. So he exaggerate in his lies that they will be white to the point you can see through the bones. You see, if 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 uh, uh, mm -hmm. the white person, the more white he is, the more we can see the 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 vein and his, under his skin. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So Muhammad is saying uh, Muhammad if, because he's a liar. Yeah, he's exaggerating with his promises. He knew that they like very much a lot white women. So he promised them not only they would be white, they would be so white.
to the point you see through the mirror of their bones but at that moment we don't have x-ray to know what he meant exactly I mean how it's going to look like <laughs> you know but now we have the the Western men they come with this this is your 72 wires brother they will be very sexy and this is good news, by the way. They cannot eat your hamburger because if they do, you will see it in their belly. Man, which 72, man? No one does say 72. Oh, man. no. Actually, 72 is the lowest reward. 72 is not the reward of a Muslim man. This is the bad reward. Like, if you are a person who have a lowest mm. reward, Adna Ahl Jannah, the lowest. A Muslim, he don't pray, he etc. He don't do jihad. He don't kill Christians and Jews. Uh, we don't kill Christian Jews, man. Of course, no, no. No, because if you are a good Muslim, you should do that, according to Islam. So, yeah, according is, to Muhammad, no, is, no, this is true. I can show the proof. Adna Ahli Jannah. You see, this hadith here is not translated. Look, look, guys, look at the translation. You see the Arabic? Look at the translation. <laughs> it's gone because it's it's it's, it's stupid uh, hadith. They don't translate. Look at this one. The list of people in paradise in the position is one with 80,000 boys, not servant. This is a lie. It, is, it, it says uh, actually Khadim, but in the Quran, describe them as boys who look like pearls. So at the least, the lowest reward, this is not the highest. The, the heaven of Allah have 100 floor. So I pray, brother, that you will have the 99 floor at least. So you can watch Typhoon from far away. So at least, the, the the least of the people of paradise they will get a reward 80,000 little boys huh? and 72 wives do you see it well I see uh, uh, this 80 with a oh it doesn't say the numbers it said eight oh I missed that eight so 72 wives yeah which hadith is this? Which hadith is this? Jami al Turmudi. It exists in many places, not only in this one. Jami al Turmudi. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? Do you like child abuse? Do you like to have to get eighty little boys, no, no, eighty thousand no. little boys to abuse them? Ew, no, no. Okay, I will try to convince you. And by the way, they, they will say to you, this hadith is daif. Uh, because anything they don't like, it's a daif for sure, right? But the Quran mm. confirmed that there is 100 uh, uh, level. And uh, look at this here. Do you like to have money in heaven? M money in heaven? Yeah, do you like to have money? Man, I don't know what I'm. What I, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that money, man. I will have posts and stuff, man. No, I will tell you what I'm <laughs> oh, gonna do. What no, am no, I gonna no, do no, with no, money? No. You are wrong. I'm gonna use that fire. In heaven, no, in heaven, still you need money. I will show you why. Uh, in the heaven, there is a market. This market, you can go and buy pictures of men and women, so you can have sex with them. Pictures of the bike and no, you got it. Show me, brother. Show me. Hmm. Let us see. I'm looking for the hadith. Uh, here we go. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling no buying nor saying except which means you will buy and sell but this is the only product except for images of men and women do you have to have do you like to have sex with men no 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 allah will no, give no. You that allah, it's a gift from allah you cannot say no because here in this market there's images of men does it say men does it say Images of men yeah. and women. Okay, so images of men and women. And if you like an image, what you do? You enter it. Enter it to do what? To have sex. That's why you have to bring. No, them. All right, all right. So, so for, uh, first of all, I, d I don't believe in this as whole. I don't believe this. But, but let's say if this was true, the men uh, part refers to the women. If they can choose, of course. But I don't believe in this as whole, man. Uh, it's, not up, it's, not no, up, no. it's not up to you, my friend. This is Islam. This is the gift from Allah. 
and you know you have to enjoy the gift of Allah. He, by the way, they will be handsome men, not like normal men. They are very handsome, very good looking. That's why they are in the magazine. Yeah, and the customer is who? The customer. It says here. So whenever a man who is the one who desire a man, you see it, a man desire an image, you enter it. So you go to heaven, uh, 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 my friend, and you desire an image of a man. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Sylvester Stallone. You never know. So you desire that guy. You jump in that image, and right away you are in the bed with him. And don't forget to take selfie when you go there. Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, if you go to the other hadith, you said you do not need money. I just showed you why you need money. In in the heaven, there's a lot of expenses, nothing for free, as you think. There's a lot of things to spend. All of it's about sex. Uh, if you go in different hadith, uh, let us see. The the reason why we desire, you know, so, as you say, sex in this life is because we need to procreate. So God made us um, desire this. Correct. Role. I agree that you know, sex is for a reason. Yes, sex is for a reason to make the man because like if, if, yeah, if he were, uh, had, uh, you know, uh, that, and we felt pain. Of course, people would less procreate. Yeah, if there is no, if there is no joy in it, nobody would do it. It become yeah. like a job. Look, look at this. What what why your prophet he tried to Sorry. seduce you by by money? What do you think? You said money is not needed in heaven, correct? No. The, okay. Look what your prophet no, said. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. All right. Muhammad he promised a man. Musa's ask according to him. This is Musa's conversation between Musa. Musa's ask his lord. Who amongst the inhabitants of the paradise is the lowest to rank? The lowest, not the highest. He, Allah mm. said, the person who would be admitted into paradise, the last one, the last one who enter paradise is the lowest. Okay. What he will have, read with me carefully. The lowest of, uh, of all among those who deserve of paradise, who admitted, it will be said to him, it will be said to him, this is the last one, the the bad 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 guy I mean this guy almost almost he was kicked out like the last person it would be said to him enter paradise he would say oh my lord uh, shall I enter while people have a seat settled and their apartment and they took their shares I mean he's saying to him like what I will get uh, people they enter before me I'm the last one it would say be said to him would you pleased would you be pleased if there be for you the like of the kingdom of a king amongst the kings of the world he will say to him Allah are you going to be pleased if I give you a money and ownership of a king who said this Allah Allah is talking Moses now. Allah is talking now Allah talking now. You, please Allah is talking Allah spoke to Moses Moses asked him the question what is the reward for the lowest man Allah is answering then he will say to him would you please if I make you rich as the most uh, uh, like one of the kings of the earth he said he would say I'm pleased oh my lord yeah please and then Allah he would say for for you is that and like 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 that and then he says he would say at the fifth the fifth time repeating like that he said oh Allah I'm pleased like that's me like come on enough 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 like five time as a king as I, I will be rich five time as any king my lord that's you know and then he would say to him it's for you like that and ten time like that so you will be ten time more rich than any king in the earth okay what you would do with the money Are you there, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are we lying to you? No. Okay. So you just say that it doesn't make sense to have money in the heaven. Allah, He promised you to be rich of as not. a king. Richness of kings is what? Money, gold, silver, jewelries, mm. power. You know? Okay. So what does that mean? Yeah, it doesn't make sense having a... It doesn't make sense. So why you will not leave Islam? Did anything from what we just shared with no, you today? I don't... Sh it makes sense? Anything makes sense? Mm. Does it make sense to kiss black stone? Does it make sense to pray in the direction of a stone? Does it make sense that your prophet, he said, black stone, erase your sin? Do, do stones erase sin for you? 
Mm-hmm. Huh? Do you think- it doesn't also make sense if, if you're facing uh, Blackstone. It doesn't also make sense when, if the Israelites face uh, uh, Jerusalem. Same thing. Uh, no, the the, the 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 Jews they have a temple, and this temple is unique because they, this is their promised land, their promised land. Even the Quran, chapter five, verse twenty-one. But uh, uh, and, they, and they are not facing, you know, the, the 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 Jews, like you know they do. They say if they are praying, uh, they face Jerusalem. But if if not, if they are in the end of the world, they don't have to face Jerusalem because you cannot face Jerusalem. But if they face Jerusalem because they have a temple, and this temple is, is is considered as holy for them, but not because of rocks and not because of stones, it is the temple. Which, this is the promise even to rebuild Jerusalem again. So if the Jews they do that, we can understand because this this is their history, this is their roots, etc. But here you have a prophet. He make you kiss a stone, and he made you believe that a stone erase your sin. Is that correct? Mm. Okay, why is stone erase a sin? Stone erase. Mm. Do the Jews believe that stone will erase your sin? No. Read carefully with me. But, but it doesn't say stone erase your sin. Allah. Okay, let me show you. Does that? Okay, let me show you. Here we go. It's in the screen. Surah an Nasai. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Abayd the Umar, blah, blah, blah. It says that a man. Said, Oh Abu Badr Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? What corners? Yeah. The black stone and yeah. the Yemeni corner. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, Touching them erases sin. Since. And whoever circumambulate around them seven times is like a free in a slave. So if you want to have the blessing, you don't free a slave. Just go around the Kaaba seven times. <laughs> it says, and I had him say. I know. I yeah, yeah, that's, so yeah, the, yeah. the prophet said, I heard him saying, I, I, the same as you asked me, we, you know, we heard him saying why. This is why he's practicing that. That touching those two stones erase your sin. How how the stones touching stones erase your sin? It may, it might, it might hear anything. What? Doesn't, uh, okay, you tell me what it's mean. It, it, it says it touching them be. erase your sin. What? Why touching stones? This is a pagan cult. I mean, all always we know that pagans believe that the stones they have a special power and they worship stones. And this stone exists before Islam. The Arab used to worship it too. Did you aren't you planning to go and touch the stone so your sin will go? No, um, inshallah, I don't have any sins. No, it makes sense. Okay, so why the prophet he touched the stone and kissed it? Why your prophet kissed the stone? No, he kisses out, out of respect. Oh, uh, so if you respect the stone, you kiss it? No, uh, because of the prophets before him, uh -huh. like Abraham built that. And uh, so, if a prophet before me he piss in a stone, are we going to kiss it too? No, because because that stone was uh, for the purpose of the house of Allah. What the purpose of it? There's all all the stones in the Kaaba are for the purpose of the house of Allah. Why why that stone make it uh, unique? The and and uh, let the us, little Kaaba. Uh, let you, us say mean, let uh, us say okay. Let us say that Allah He sent this stone from heaven. I want you to explain to me this. Who is the one who decided the location of the Kaaba? Location of Kaaba, uh, Allah. Allah, thank you. Okay, so why Allah He choose a horrible location? Uh, no, that that location is actually the golden uh, point of the earth. You can look this up. Uh, it's like the, the you know the golden, golden ratio. point of something. My friend, the golden ratio. Uh, when you say about yeah. the earth, there's nothing. It's called golden ratio when it's come to the earth because all the lines you draw, those are virtual. They are not real. So I can any 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 point in the earth I can make it golden ratio. Now look at this. You said that Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, correct? Yes. Okay. Why Allah He chose the Kaaba in a place where the sewage always flood and cover the Kaaba? Can't He find a better engineer to choose for Him a higher place? <laughs> no, but um... no. What? No, no. Tell me. Here we go. 
the Kaaba <coughs> location is chose chose by Allah. You said that everybody heard you. Well, is this picture edited? No. What uh, this is a uh, you know <laughs> go watch <laughs> you know those are oh, actually man. all pictures and until now nothing happened nothing changed the Kaaba there's tons of them look sewage dirty water around the Kaaba the Saudi now they have a lot of money they try their best to to stop the flood to to the, redirect the, the flooding water still the Kaaba is flooded so if Allah if Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba what is this imagine I hire an engineering company and I say choose the best location for my house and then you choose the lowest point in Mecca where the flood will come and cover you cover what the house of Allah this is inside the Haram look you Allah the haram? do you see the Haram, this is the, haram. This, this is this is the, the, the mosque around the Kaaba look the, the people are walking in the water do you see it hmm but it, the, the physical thing it doesn't mean anything it's a mean no, it it. Allah no, could have no, blessed no, the no. people you see to repair how it. it is my friend how it is a holy place chosen by Allah and yet Allah he cannot choose a good place for it it mean a lot what do you mean doesn't mean anything uh, this is God don't God knows look the cars are covered by the water So how mm -hmm. how God he do not know? He could not choose a different place. Oh, this big. Anyway, my friend, I cannot really. I'm I'm doing yeah, my yeah. best, but you know you are being a stubborn. Thank I can't you, tell. brother. Thank you, brother. I, I was just uh, going to ask something, and then we went for a debate. Uh, thank you, brother. Yeah. No, that no problem. Nice. But you see, uh, uh, I want you after you go. Be honest with yourself. Rewatch this video again. And by the way, uh, if you if you don't find the video again because I don't keep my videos, uh, you can search, yeah I can I can you can search yes. for the same title in YouTube again. Then Jesus, why Jesus not? And be sure that you find you look for the last twenty four hours because there's many videos sometimes yeah, have yeah. the same title. All right. Yes. Uh, uh, so yes. Uh, watch it again. Uh, go over the reference, and be honest with yourself. And it's up to you. What I can do, yes, thank you. Uh, if, if I am you, I will leave Islam immediately. This is a, nothing but a cult, very stupid cult. What versions, what endless penis, what one mile ass, what, uh, what, a penis, what a penis will not sleep. I mean, what Allah is this? Isn't it Allah? Allah doesn't say this. My, my friend, what kind this. of God, I, I what kind I, I of I God, you don't know this. how the baby is created. What kind of God, you don't even remember which one he created first. What kind of God he think that the sperm of the uh, women have a sperm coming from her the location of her necklace the ribs What kind of God he think the man have a have a sperm coming from the backbone? I mean come on. It's up to you anyway Thank you for calling my friend if you if you change your mind and you decide to denounce the cult of Islam and the devil of Allah Let me know you are more than welcome to call me back. All right All right, bro. peace peace to you brother take care brother. Right. So you will, you will not leave uh, Islam. I'll look into this. You will not leave Islam. I'll yet. be honest no, not yet. Huh? You are not going to decide now. To I have Islam. to look into this, but I have to look into this. All right, no problem. Inshallah, Allah knows best. All right. Don't say inshallah. Allah, Allah will right. nothing. <laughs> All right, my friend. Take care. All right. <clears throat> if you wait for Allah to do something, Allah will never do anything. All right. Uh, I think we have enough for today, don't we? All right. All right. Any Muslim decided to leave Islam? You see, they can lie to you about the amazing Quran. The Quran is preserved. It was probably preserved. You know, until now we are looking for the goat who ate the Quran. Until now. I mean, uh, uh, when Muslims they speak about things, I find it very embarrassing. And how they fabricate things which is absolutely false. 
we have reference from their own authentic source saying that a goat ate the Quran yummy yummy and then the Muslim will say to you the Bible is corrupted brother a guy who came 600 years after a goat who jumped in the top of his bed when he is dead the Quran which was under his pillow which means the goat obviously she flipped Muhammad from the top of the pillow so like imagine this Muhammad is dead in the bed of Aisha his head is on the pillow under the pillow there's the Quran the goat she jumped in the top of the bed meh, meh, and she flipped Muhammad from the top of the bed Muhammad he fell down in the ground the filthy goat the enemy of Allah may Allah curse her and make her shish kebab she took the Quran from under the pillow and she started chewing the Quran and she chose the best of the Quran which is breast feeding for adult which really all men they love to practice this is religion breastfeeding for who for what for adult and thank God this verse is gone otherwise you will see a lot of a perverted people entering Islam by waves the verse of stoning and breastfeeding of adult feeding guys I'm hungry I just remember I did not eat since yesterday I'm being honest forget about breastfeeding now don't take me wrong <laughs> breastfeeding for adult I mean what's wrong with this prophet the most they say to us we are very conservative we make our women cover themselves so we cannot shake hands with them but we can suckle their nipples And we will suckle what? Like, do you think women they have milk always there? They, women, what do you think? You think a woman she is a cow? Even cow she don't have milk always. I think we have a Muslim trying to contact us. All right. Let us see this gentleman here. 